Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Thought I'd do a quick word for you guys. Um first of all I hope you're all having a good day. Um hope you're all having a blessed day, whatever it is you're doing. Um yeah, I've done some weights earlier, like I said, I had a rest, um I had a rest for an hour or two. Um just took it easy, looked online on Facebook and um other sites that are that I'm a member of and uh yeah um just took it easy really just surfing online relaxing um feel better now I feel like I got a bit more energy um decided um, I might get to the Bible study after all I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but I might go um I've, um, I haven't had a shower, but I'm in fresh clothes, so I've got some fresh clothes, as you can see, jeans and a top, it's all fresh, so, so yeah, um, so hopefully with a bit of deodorant, I can mask it, I can mask it, <laughs> nah, I'm only joking, I don't smell that bad anyway, Jesus, I don't smell that bad, but, um, yeah, it's just I'm conscious that I ain't had a shower, so that's what's playing on my mind, you know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah, I would have ideally liked to have a shower, but sometimes you just have to wing it, do you know what I mean, and make the best of it, so, um, so yeah, so I might go, guys, I'm feeling like I've got a bit more energy now, I'm still a bit tired, but I may go anyway, I don't know, if, I don't know if I'm going to go yet, I've got till six to make my mind up, so, um, so yeah, we'll see, kind of thing, um, we'll see if I want to go or not. Done some weights earlier, just two sets, um, just two sets, I didn't go mad, because my shoulder, I was going to do three, but my shoulder was hurting a little bit, not majorly, just a tiny, it wasn't hurting, but it was kind of like I could feel the muscle was a bit tight, so I thought... I'll just do two sets, though, but as you can see, the muscles are there, kind of thing, do you know what I mean? The thing with me is, because I've done so much weights in the past, that I, I never really lose it completely, um, especially on my arms, because I've done so much weights on my arms in the past, sort of thing, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, um... Not too bad, <laughs> not too bad, I've always had decent arms, that's the main thing I've worked throughout my life, I've done a bit of bench press when I was younger, but in my later life, because I had a back injury and stuff, bench press was a bit hard on my back, so dumbbell press was better or, or arm curls, but arm curls is, is better for me than even dumbbell press, so so yeah that's what i've focused on kind of thing my arms um yeah um i think i'll put a bit of size on already just from lifting the weights it's funny that uh, when you don't lift weights and you and you don't eat much you, lo you lose a lot of weight the minute you eat a little bit and lift weights you fill out, um, it's just the way it is, but it is the way it is with me anyway, like, it's the way it is with me, so, um, yeah, I could have done another set, but I just thought, I don't want to push it, because my shoulder was a bit tight, I felt like my shoulder was a bit tight, my right shoulder, so, I thought I won't, I won't chance it, you know what I mean, so, yeah, um, but I'm glad to be a bit stronger again there, <laughs> I never really lost strength, but you, you always feel, you always know when you when you haven't worked out, do you know what I mean, that's all I can say, you can always tell the difference, um, as opposed to when you've worked out, so, so yeah, um, glad I got that workout in, even if it was only two sets, it's better than nothing, so, um, so yeah, um, I'll try and keep it up, to the best of my ability anyway, so, so yeah, um, but yeah guys, um, want to do a word for you guys, um, 
I don't know whether to get to the Bible study or not. I feel like I should because it's around other believers and iron sharpens iron and um, it's good to be around other believers. Um, it's good to have fellowship with other believers and good to be around other believers, but I just don't know. Um, time's ticking. I mean, I've got till like six to make up my mind. Um, so... So yeah, um, I don't know. I do feel a bit tired. I could probably go. I could probably probably could go, but I'm um, just thinking I got probably jump on a bus. I could get a taxi there. I suppose could always do that. Could always get a taxi, but um, but then again, I should probably get the bus because it's money. You don't need to spend. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah. I get a taxi back anyway, so or I will get a taxi back because I don't want to travel back at that time. So, so yeah, um, I might get the bus there and the taxi back maybe. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, guys, hope you're all having a good day. Um, hope you're all having a blessed day, whatever it is you're doing. Um, What today? Today is it Thursday? It's Thursday, isn't it? Thursday. Um. Yeah, just um. Just potentially going to a Bible study tonight. Potentially. Um. Or we could stay in and do a load of work. It's. Then again, I feel like God would want me to go to the Bible study. <laughs> And and if I feel like if I don't get to the Bible study, something could probably go wrong. Because <laughs> he'll because he'll tell me I feel he'll let me know that he wanted me to get to the Bible study. So it's one of them. Um, so that's what God does sometimes. He corrects you. Do you know what I mean? He uh, he tells you off sometimes <laughs> in his own way. So um so yeah um. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I am behind on my work, so I could really do with just focusing on that. But but at the same time, I just don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do is, to be honest with you. Put God first. That's what they say. I always put God first. And I'm trying to. Do you know what I mean? I prayed yesterday. I've... Um, I haven't really done much today. I've watched a few Proverbs videos I think I did in the morning. Um, or I started watching them. So I'm going to do a word in a minute for you guys. Um, finish off the word that I done yesterday, the second part. Um, so yeah, I'm doing my bit. Like I said, I prayed yesterday as well. So it's not like I'm not putting God first. I'm trying my level best. Um just sometimes life gets in the way. Um, you have to try and make time for God, though. You do, you do, do you know what I mean? You can't let life get in the way, but, um, but sometimes it does. There's a habit of getting in the way, so... To a degree, anyway. Until you realise you need to put God first, and then you put God first, you know what I mean? But, yeah. I have, I have moments back and forth where one, one day I'm putting God first and next time I'm not, then I am, then I'm not, then I am kind of thing. It's not constant. Um, but I try to more often than not put God first. I've learned to do that. Your life goes better when you do that. Things run more smoothly. Things just generally go better. So, yeah. Um, it's one of them. But anyway, guys, let's, let's go over this word. As I'm running out of time, um, I think it was Mark. I think it was Mark, if I remember right there. Just trying to think where we got up to. Parable of the tenants we've done. Destruction of the temple in the end times. Um, did we get up to here or? Jesus before Pilati, we definitely haven't done that. I think we got up to, um, 
Yeah, Jesus anointed at Bethany, chapter 14, Mark chapter 14. And I think we've done the Last Supper. I think we've done Jesus anointed at Bethany, the Last Supper, and Jesus predicts Peter's denial. I think we've done, if I remember right there. But I tell you what, let me just redo this. Yeah, I think we've done Peter, Jesus predicts Peter's denial. So we'll go over Gethsemane. Jesus arrested, Jesus before the Sanhedrin, and uh, what else? Let's have a look. If these pages will let me turn them, I'm sure this is the devil coming against me. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Gethsemane, Jesus arrested, Jesus before the Sanhedrin, and Peter disowns Jesus. So yeah, let's just go over that. I don't think I've done that second part. If I remember rightly, if I've done it, guys, I ap my apologies for doing it again. But I don't think I did. That's how I'm going to go over it. So, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, guys. Um, Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Um, They went to a place called Gethsemane and Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James and John along with him and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible the, the hour might pass. From him, Abba Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more, he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Enough, the hour has come. Look, the son of man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Jesus arrested just as he was speaking. Judas, one of the twelve, appeared with him. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared with him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law and the elders. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. What the one I kiss in the man. The one I kiss is the man, arrest him and lead him away under guard. Under guard. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said rabbi and kissed him. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion? said Jesus. What have you cut what that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you teaching in the temple courts and you did not arrest me, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then everyone deserted him and fled. A young man wearing nothing but a linen garment was following Jesus. When they seized him, he, he fled naked, leaving his garment behind. Jesus before the Sanhedrin. They took Jesus to the high priest and all the chief priests the elders and the teachers of the law came together. Peter followed him at a distance right into the courtyard of the high priest. There he sat with the guards and warned them and warmed himself at the fire. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin was were looking for evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death, but they did not find any. Many testified falsely against him, but their statements did not agree. 
Then some stood up and gave this false testimony against him. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with human hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. Yet even then their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and, and asked Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent and gave no answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the son of the blessed one? I am, said Jesus, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. The chief priest tore his clothes, why? The chief priest tore his clothes, why? Do you need any more witnesses? He, he asked, do you think you have had the, you have had the blasphemy? What do you think? They all condemned him as worthy of death. Then some began to spit at him. They blindfolded him, struck him with their fists and said prophecy or prophesy. And the guards took him and beat him. Peter descends Jesus. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also were with that Nazarene, Jesus, she said, but he denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about. He said and went, in, out, and went out into the entrance. When the servant girl saw him there, she said again to those standing around them, this fellow is one of them. Again, he denied it. After a little while, those standing near, near, after a little while, those standing there said to Peter, "Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean." Or Galilean. He began to call down curses, and he swore to them, "I don't know, I don't know this man you're talking about." Immediately the cock crowed. The second time, then Peter remembered the words Jesus had spoke to him, spoken to him. Before the cut crows twice, she will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. That's it, guys. That's, um, that's Mark chapter 14, part 2. Um, Gethsemane, Jesus arrested Jesus before the Sanhedrin. Peter, and Peter disowns Jesus. So that's it. Um... Hope you can take something from it. Don't know if it's going to bless you because it's kind of a sad scripture. Um, Jesus being arrested and being given over to death. Look, it's um, it's not the nicest scripture. It was a bit of a hard read to be honest, but yeah, um, not nice. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the word anyway. Um. Hope you can take something from it. Um, you've learnt some more of the Bible anyway. You've learnt some more of Mark. Um, so yeah, that's part two from what I've done the other day. I don't think I've done it already. If I did, apologies. So I've done it again anyway. So, um, so yeah, and the next one, I think is chapter 15 or 16. Um, let's have a look. I'll let you know what the next chapter will be. Um, Yeah, the next chapter is chapter 15, Jesus before, Jesus before Pilate. So yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Um, I just want to say thanks for supporting the channel and me. I appreciate you all. Um, I hope you, you're getting something from this channel. Um, I hope, um, yeah, I hope you're learning about the Bible. That's my biggest thing. Um, Hope some of the mental health stuff's helping some people. Um, but yeah, I hope you're learning about the Bible. That's the most uh, kind of like um, spreading God's word. That's 
very important to me. So they have mental health stuff's important too. I want to help people with the mental health. Um, well, I feel like God's a part of that. With God, um, it can heal you of a lot of stuff. It can, um, the word of God can fix you up. Do you know what I mean? It, it does that um, if you let it. Um, so yeah, um, it's all I can say really. So the Bible's very important. Uh, spreading the word of God is very important to me. So, so yeah, I hope you're learning stuff, whether it's mental health or the Bible. Um, or life wisdom, anything I've shared. Um, so yeah, or godly wisdom. <laughs> so yeah, um, whatever you're learning, it's got to be a good thing in my eyes at least. So yeah, um, so yeah, I hope I hope you can take something from it anyway. Um, even if it's just um, listening to stupid old me <laughs> with me check-ins and uh me updates and everything waffling on <laughs> even if you just like that or some of the other stuff i've done in the past on here um thanks for the support regardless um i appreciate you all um love you all and keeping you all in my prayers so so yeah um i should be back with some more content soon so thank you guys as always keeping you in my prayers and wishing you the best take care guys god bless much love